Hi, my name is Sean Olson. This is a demonstration of the latest wall worm tool that allows you to combine all the maps and materials from multiple objects into one single collapsed material where all the maps of all the materials are collapsed into the respective channels of the output material. If that sounds confusing, well, it makes a lot of sense once we get down to it. In this scene here I have a hut and it has various uh, pieces to the prop. Uh, the top, uh, the walls, poles, and the poles going up here. In essence there are four actual pieces that I have that have different materials on each one and in the end I want to have one material that's used across all these objects. So the first thing we need to do is unwrap all of these things into a channel and to make that simple I've already done all that so I'm gonna just select the objects that I have which are four pieces and they're all uh, using an unwrap a single unwrap UVW modifier and it looks like this in the unwrap and different pieces even though they're different objects they can share the same uh, unwrap modifier and this allows you to render them out all into the same texture space now generally speaking the problem is that the render to texture function inside of max will render these if I have them all selected into a whole bunch of different maps even though I have them all selected right now normally when I do this I want them to all to go out into their own into one material but it doesn't work that way we're going to show you how to do this now the unwrap modifier we did was in was using channel 3 so when we render these to texture we need to also use channel 3 we're going to use diffuse and that's the color of all of the uh, the bitmap use normal which we'll use as the bump and we're going to use the alpha which is going to go into the opacity at this point we can render the texture and we do that it's going to render a material and a texture for every single piece in this model so there's going to be four bitmaps for the diffuse four for the alpha and four for the bump and there's going to be four materials that it puts out here that's not really what we want. We want one material with everything flattened. That's where our wall worm material manager comes in. Now we rendered the texture in channel 3 and our material UV channels are laid out in channel 3. We want this to also be channel 3. And we're going to create a composite from the selected objects which are the same objects we just rendered the texture. I'm just going to cut to the chase now and skip to the end. We're going to flatten the bitmaps. There's going to be three bitmaps. In fact, now they're assigned to a material that's inside the UI here. And if I want to update, assign those, that one material to this object, I can assign it there. And now it's assigned to the selected objects. If we open up the material editor and pick the material we just made you're going to see that there are only three bitmaps and one material and that's really the whole point and this allows you to take uh, multiple objects and use the same material on them my name is Sean Olson hope you learned something from this and you find this tool useful you can learn more about me at seanolson.net and find more of my tools at wallworm.com thank you and have a good day